words spoken with a smile masquerading as a jest cling to the very air she breathes and so infect and breed infest they build upon past injuries and unintended harm they seethe and writhe and creep and crawl till little else is left at all still a hollow shell bereft of hope the grieving love in darkness gropes amid the thoughts to end it all and listens for the angel's call this is one of my many poems and narratives written about that moment of resignation that moment where death doesn't just make sense it's the only thing that seems to make sense it's times like these where stigma has convinced me that i was worthless an aberration an unwelcome and troublesome drain on other people's time and resources especially non-deserving perhaps of help because of my self-inflicted injuries i've had seven suicidal crises in my life seven moments of choice and many many hours of thoughtful longing and preparation to try and get there my first suicidal crisis was at age 13 my last about two years ago i've been self-harming since the age of 13 too death wasn't stalking me all those years he was my friend he offered acceptance and understanding and peace when such things seemed impossible to find in my life he offered absolute escape from the pain and distress and the aching isolation but wrapped up in all of this he also gave me choice and i chose to live choice is what has opened up my life and allowed me to discover and build on my resilience it has helped me to figure out who i am and why i am resilience isn't about how much you can keep on taking keep on carrying it's not about sucking it up and getting on with it resilience isn't about bouncing back to where you were before resilience is about being open to learning as you transition through applying previous learning and coping tools being observant shifting beyond the passive into the inquisitive really getting to know yourself and your strengths accepting how your strengths and skills increase with each cycle accepting how confidence increases with each cycle accepting a new and stronger self-image based on that evidence in short resilience is about growth i've grown so much as a person by traveling through those suicidal crises and incidences of self-harm and the many challenges both in my past and recently. I've trusted what I've learned about myself and allowed my life decisions to be guided by what matters to me rather than what other people expected of me. A few years ago, I did a life audit. I turned my life and work upside down to meet my real priorities and that action was not without serious personal and practical challenges and consequences. I wouldn't have been able to navigate the process had I not built up quite a substantial amount of resilience. I'm now blessed to work in a job that I love and where I get to grow professionally and personally. I'm now blessed to be able to support others challenged by mental illness or suicidal crisis. Resilience takes work and I'm still learning. I'm still growing. It takes work, but it's definitely worth it each and every cycle is worth it resilience isn't a panacea for all my mental health practical or interpersonal challenges but now that i believe and invest in it it is the very essence of choice my choices are not always correct or effective but i believe now in my ability to choose and that's important that's powerful life events may not always be within my control but I believe in my ability to choose how I react to them. This is my lived experience of resilience in action. I'm proud of how far I've come over the years and how strong I've become. Anyone can do it.